time has finally come and I am in Melbourne for my event. It sounds so crazy to say, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. I feel like it's been a lead up to get to this point and I have a lot to do in preparation before we get to Friday. It's currently Tuesday. I flew in yesterday afternoon. So I'm starting the vlog this morning. I was just catching up with family and things yesterday afternoon and kind of just settling in. This week, I'm bringing you along every single errand to create my dream event. I've said this to a few people, but it literally feels like I'm planning a wedding. Obviously, that's like a bit of an exaggeration, but kind of like choosing vendors and just like organizing the whole thing has felt so personal. I have this really cool content idea in my head that is so unnecessary but you guys know I'm all about the unnecessary content ideas. I've got these like big posters printed off at Officeworks that I want to go and stick around the city. I want to create like this beautiful little montage to post on Instagram. So I just have this idea for the opening shot to have this Clay With Me poster stuck on like a random graffitied wall in the city. And then like me walking past, I want to bring the vision to life. So <laughs> we're going to go pick up these posters. After we get the shot in the city, I'm going to save them to put on the glass for like the actual event day and there's a few other things that we have to do but i'll just bring you guys along with i just filmed a kind of chaotic get ready with me on tiktok it's cold in melbourne and i did not come prepared as per um but i feel like this is getting me ready for like london and paris so really the weatherman is out here just teaching me a lesson but my skirt is from new denim i literally grabbed it yesterday so i'm just wearing it with a little jeff singlet my Beckenbridge Cardi. I've got my bag and she's ready. So let's go. <laughs> I have such a serious look on my face. Concentrate. <laughs> There's a Witsa HQ. Look how cute this collage wall is that Zoe has. You see? Look how cute these are. They are so cute. Wait, it's not focused. <gasps> so pretty. I want them. This is what I need. I'm gonna buy a few of these packs and stagger them on the table, I think. <laughs> Candles secured. Let's go. <laughs> Next stop. And they just stick on like a sticker? Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah, so We've quickly come back home and I've changed into this little skirt for the video just because I think it'll be easier to walk in and kind of take long strides in. <laughs> so about to go to the wall. I found a really good wall actually. Where is my phone? It sounds absolutely ridiculous, but we were like literally scouting for wall. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, but we were like literally scouting for walls earlier. But I think we found the one, the red brick with like the blue in the poster is gonna be a really nice contrast. And then we're going to my Zia's house to pick tomatoes to give to the caterer because their tomatoes are the best and I wouldn't want anything less for the people coming to the event. We're at the location. This is the wall that I wanna use, but these are the posters. Whoa, they're huge! Hi! Melbourne day two and we are headed to go and check out the venue and to kind of map out the way that it's going to look on the night. Uh, I think we can have a company like five per side. Yeah. We could have like two here, which would mean we could do like, what's that? Um, but like they're easy to get with. Oh yeah. I you know, like some, some samples. That's pretty. Yeah. We're back in the car now. That went really, really well. I'm actually obsessed with the venue. It's even more beautiful in person and it's just so big and bright. And I can't wait to like get the florist in there and move the tables around. We also just got off the phone to the caterer and we just locked in what time she's arriving um, and just like some final props and things. And now we are- in one kilometer, turn right onto Kick Street. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, so much easier when it's... I don't mind it. Give people a really nice experience. That is... I kind of really like it. 
Yay. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, one day until the event. And I'm honestly feeling a little bit run down. Hence the honey lemon tea. I feel like the most typical Queenslander complaining about like, 15 to 20 degree weather. It's honestly not that bad. Yesterday the wine arrived, which I'm really happy about. It was getting flown in from South Australia. So I was nervous it wouldn't arrive in time. One thing that hasn't arrived though, and I'm really sad about is my shoes that I wanted to wear to the event. It's probably like the best thing to not arrive because in the grand scheme of things, really not important, but I'm really sad because I bought these like really beautiful vintage kin heels that I wanted to wear and they haven't arrived. So, on the agenda today is to try and go find something else that I can wear instead. But more importantly, I've actually just been emailing some vendors because yesterday when I went and looked at the space, I thought it would be really cute to have like a rug and cushion set up for the Q&A after the workshop, kind of towards the back of the studio. So I am trying to last minute organize that. <laughs> So we'll see if any of the vendors reply because it's literally like one day until the event. Um, and I know it's super last minute, but hopefully someone can come through and I can just go and pick it up or something. I made me an Altier pudding this morning. Everybody else in the house is at work. Um, so I'm going to try and be productive and figure some of this stuff out. I also want to start editing a vlog. I'm very behind on editing. Um, and then we're going to head into the city in a bit. I have to drop like all of the mugs and stuff that I picked up yesterday to the studio in queue and then that means that i'll have space tomorrow for like the alcohol the tomatoes <laughs> there's so much stuff i need to fit in the car i've actually made a list on my phone that says melbourne event last minute <laughs> so i need to pack the tomatoes the wine the tablecloths the waters ice buckets platters and then i also need to pick up the glassware at 9 a.m tomorrow and i've got like the address and stuff for that so She's an organized queen, but still stressed. The fit today is, <laughs> I look like a marshmallow, but the fit today is literally just comfort. It is really cold out. I got rained on yesterday just wearing like a backless top. <laughs> and I feel like that's why I maybe feel a bit run down and just like sick today because I was freezing all day. So we're going comfort today. Last job of the day, unloading the car. We have all the wine, some stools, all of the bisque mugs. So you guys remember how this morning I was telling you how I wanted to try and find like a vendor for some rugs and pillows. Well, miraculously, it is almost 4 p.m. and I've just heard back. Proceed to the room from one of the companies that I contacted. We're on our way to go and pick up things that we're hiring. I think I'm getting like a few rugs and then yeah, pillows. Vitamin C. <laughs> Packing the car. Zoe has most of the pillows and stuff in her car. Um, we have to go pick up the glasses now. That's the first stop for the day. It's giving period day one. <laughs> I'm just wearing these super comfy pants from Henny. They have a matching top, but it's cold. So I'm wearing this like Deus wool throwover. And then I'm just wearing with my New Balance because we're going to be lifting a lot of things and moving a lot of things today. So excited for today. The first stop is to go and pick up the glassware. Then we're going to go and find myself some backup shoes. Even though I got a notification this morning saying that my shoes are due for delivery. I don't know if I want to believe it because <laughs> Australia Post is saying they won't leave them without someone to sign it and no one's going to be here today to sign it so I'm not going to rely on that option. Car Chronicles. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. We couldn't even fit all the glass we're in so we have to come back. Another 40 minute drive. Ah, oh, we should have freaking hired a truck for this event. Here's our rough schedule that I made last night. So far we're ahead of schedule, so we're gonna try and keep it that way. It's a pretty jam-packed <laughs> day, that's for sure. We've arrived at the venue and we're moving all of these pottery wheels. We've moved them into the corner back here because 
We're about to transform the space. The flowers just arrived. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. Now we're heading back to pick up the rest of the glasses and then to my other cousin's house to get ready to then go back to the studio. It's a day full of running around, but the flowers, oh my gosh, that just made me so excited. It's all coming together. All of the stress is worth it, like always. This is the outfit. I've got some little heels that I'm gonna wear with it. It makes me look kind of short, but I think it's such a sleigh. my god it was the best night ever kind of spent the weekend with my family just relaxing i was so exhausted afterwards we ended up staying until pretty late to like pack up everything but it was like the biggest success ever we were reflecting on it and just saying how nothing went wrong literally the whole night was so perfect and all of the girls were so sweet like i don't know what i expected but everybody was just so nice i literally walked away being like i could be friends with each and every single one of them people literally walked out making friends and saying like oh we're gonna grab coffee tomorrow it was so sweet can't wait to do more honestly i'm going to go back to the studio today i have to pack up some of the mugs there were 13 people that flew into state for the event which is crazy i can't even believe people did that so i said i would post their mugs back to them so i'm excited to see everybody's mugs and creations i'm going to bring you guys along we need to go to office works and grab some boxes to pack everything because obviously i don't have my packing supplies here and then we also need to return like the pillows and rugs to the higher up today so another busy day it's been such a go 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 trip like there's been no holiday it's just been all for this event um i kind of expected that though and yeah it's all worth it because it was literally like my dream night i couldn't stop smiling the whole time all right time to go pack these orders here is my packing day fit it's finally sunny in melbourne i've also woken up to the biggest nipple on my chin um but i'm wearing this cute little yellow dress it goes really dark when i move back and then this vintage jacket that i literally got at falls festival in perth for 30 dollars. i love it so much oh you're so pretty and this year We just got the mugs out of the kiln. They look so cute. I think this one is probably one of my favorites. So pretty. I have everybody's like shipping details and stuff here that I'm kind of ticking off as I go. 